Hi, my name is Grant Kramer, and I'm a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. Today, we'll be talking about a very unusual grape called Assyrtico. I'm very excited about this grape, especially for places like Southern Nevada, where climates are hot. So please join me in learning about this very unusual and interesting grape from Santorini Island in Greece. Assyrtico is a white grape that produces outstanding wines in hot climates. I'm very excited about this grape and think it will do very well in the hot regions like Las Vegas in southern Nevada. So the history of Assyrtico is very interesting. Its origins are thought to come from the island of Santorini in Greece, which is a very small island, a volcanic island, the last eruption was in 1612 BC, and it was discovered that there were seeds on Santorini prior to this volcanic eruption at a recent archaeological site that were genetically identified as seeds of Assyrtico. So Assyrtico goes back for thousands of years and has been grown on this little island of Santorini over this entire period of time. Its parents understandably are unknown. As far as we can tell, there are no genetic relationships to Eastern or European grapes. The synonyms are just pronounced, I guess, the same way as Sertico, just with different spellings. Its popular locations are in the Greek islands. There are a variety of other islands that are now growing this grape but it's also been taken to Australia and California years ago. And there are small boutique wineries or places where these grapes are being grown. What is the kind of climate on Santorini? It's hot, it's humid, and it's dry. There's very little water on the island and these grapes struggle to grow on the island, and I'll explain more about this, but here's a couple of severe examples of how those grapes are growing, but this is also part of the style of how they are grown, as you'll see. And on the left-hand side here is a chart I put together examining grapes that would have late ripening, and the reason I'm interested in late ripening for hot climates is that you want the temperatures to cool down in the fall when the grapes are fully ripening to keep those nice fruit flavors. And you can see that Assyrtico on the right hand side of the whites is one of the most late ripening of all the white grape varieties that I could discover. So this is very exciting because potentially these grapes could be grown into late fall when in the desert conditions like Las Vegas, the temperatures begin to drop and you have cool nights and warm days. The growth of Assyrtico is that it is vigorous and it is also productive. And here you can see a picture of the grapes here and the leaf of Assyrtico. This picture I took on Santorini Island on a tour with a colleague of mine, Dr. Evangelos Barris from the University of West Attica in Athens, Greece, who is consultant for the winery estate Agiros. Some of the vines on this island on Santorini are long lived. They've lived for at least 200 years or longer, and there are still existing vines of this age. They have medium-sized leaves that have three lobes with medium lateral sinuses and medium sharp tooth margins. And the petiolar sinus has a lyre shape to it. The clusters are medium large and loose with large round green to yellow berries. Okay, on Santorini, the grapes are grown on what are volcanic soils. The entire island was a giant volcano at what time. And 
there are layers of different kinds of volcanic soil and sand and pumice and all sorts of things that I encourage you to investigate. At any rate, these grapes are grown largely without irrigation. There's some experimentation now going on with irrigation, but they've been grown like this for quite a long time in this sort of circular profile. So you can see here on the left, the grapes growing in the volcanic soils. They're very low and they're grown low like this in this circular pattern of training the trunk. This allows the grapes to be protected from the wind. That photo I showed you of the grapes before came off a bush like this. And on the right hand side, you can see my colleague, Dr. Evangelos Barris. So the round, growing the grapes in a circular pattern not only protects the grapes from the wind, but according to Dr. Barris, it also allows the grapes to collect moisture from the salty sea air nearby. And this is how these grapes have been able to survive without irrigation. In addition, the characteristics of this grapes are to have a very late bud break and a late harvest. And this is very important, as I said, for hot climate grapes, where you want that grape ripening to occur not in the middle of the summer, but into the fall when temperatures are getting cooler to help enhance or, or maintain those fruit flavors. There are only two registered clones in the foundation plant services in California. These were grapes that were brought over by Dr. Harry Olmo in the 1940s, quite a long time ago. The grapes have been cleaned up and made free of virus and are available for people to order. And here you can see a variety of different clusters, but these could all be similar clones as I'm not sure what the clonal variation of this grape is. So Assyrtico makes really outstanding wines. I really enjoyed them myself in Santorini. They produce light colored crisp wines with good acidity or high acidity. And as I mentioned, this is a plus for hot climates. Typically grapes in hot climates have very low acid and lose that important characteristic of the wine. And in, despite the hot temperatures in Santorini, the wines are fruity, full-bodied, and they're fresh. Some of the fruit flavors and aroma descriptions for Assyrtica wines are citrus, tropical fruit, orange blossom, and minerality. They make award-winning wines as rated by the experts. And one particular wine, Vinsanto, which is a dessert wine, was getting a score of 100 points. And it has been described as a wine that has dried fruits, honey, caramel, coffee, nuts, and spices, leading towards a lingering, never-ending finish. So these wines age for 20 plus years or more and are of very high quality. So in summary, Assyrtico is my number one favorite grape that could be planted in the Las Vegas area. I think it has outstanding potential to produce high quality grapes and high quality wines from this region. It's adapted to hot climates and is late ripening, producing fruity wines with crisp acidity. Not only is it temperature tolerant and drought tolerant, but it also may be salt tolerant as the grapes withstood salty sea air that is salt is blowing around in the air and landing on the leaves. And yet it seems to manage to survive in this area of Santorini. It also makes dessert wines and it produces award-winning wines with many in the range of 90 to 100 points as rated by top wine evaluators of top wine magazines and associations. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please like it on my YouTube channel as it'll help others become more aware 
of the videos that are out there. And if you really like my video, then I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, where then you can be notified of new videos coming out. Have a great day.